Oh goodness. I'm about to have a stroke. Y'all see what this is. Y'all see what it is. I always get hyped when I get like a top tier phone. A lot of times I don't get top tier phones. This gonna surprise a couple people. Cause everybody know I'm with Boost Mobile. But look at that. I know, I know. So here's how this happened. I'll explain it um, before I do an unboxing. If anybody know I'm uh, with Boost Mobile, um, I was with Boost Mobile for a while, canceled my service, uh, signed back up because I didn't want to pay a high bill. So I signed back up and got the $15 plan. That's cool. You know, I have to use your data up to cut the uh, data off, which is cool. Ain't nothing to cry about. But I wanted a top tier phone. You feel what I'm saying? I was going to save my money and probably get the Samsung Galaxy A71. But then I was like, you know, I checked it out. It was cool. Then they just dropped on Boost Mobile the Samsung Galaxy Fan Edition. And um, that's only $400. And it got it like in an olive color, which is green or something like that. That's my favorite color. So, you know, I was going to stay with them and things like that. You know, I can't get on the Boost stuff because, like I said, I'm a new customer. A customer, but my mother friend, he actually could have got it. You know, I could have just paid him, you know, through the boost up and got the fan edition phone. Um, you know, for like 210, dropped it down, and boom, I would have just stuck with boost. And maybe I would have switched my plan back to like a $50 plan, but I wanted a top tier phone, so I was like, you know what, I go in Target, I forgot what I go in Target for. My, I guess to probably look for some prepaid phones and stuff like that. And I was talking to this um girl. You know, we got to talking and all that, and she was throwing out little signals that already let me know that she got to work for somebody. So she was like, yeah, such and such, such. And next, you know, next thing you know, she was talking, and she unzipped her jacket. You know how they do. She's like, yeah, by the way, you know, I work for AT&T. <laughs> so next thing you know, I usually be trying to walk away from them because I, I really tell a lot of people stay away from the contract phones and stuff like that, man. But I don't know what, you know. She wound up talking to me, and she just was like, all right, let's see if you can run your credit. Now, here's the thing about this, right? Um, I posted a video on my channel, and I was letting anybody know, y'all, uh, I was going to try to go to T-Mobile. I ran my credit with them, and they wanted me to pay for this phone $345 down for the down payment. So I said, cool, that's okay. I was willing to pay that. I know I'm overrising some money, um, Sprint with T-Mobile now, and things like this, but I never... I, AT&T never even crossed my mind. I never even thought about that. So, you know, she running my credit and things like this. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to the phone. Or just hear me out. I always got a story. Hear me out first, y'all. Sorry. So she talked to the people and I gave them information and stuff like that. She was like, so you want the good news or the bad news? I was like, oh, um, what's the bad news? I owe them money. She was like, well, the, the, good, uh, the bad news is Boost Mobile going to be upset and, and you know, and the good news is you got approved and things like this. So basically, she was saying Boost Mobile will be upset that I'm leaving them, which they're not. It's a prepaid company. You, you get the picture. So, you know, come to find out, uh, I wind up getting this phone with like zero down payment. You know, the trade in plan. So, what I'm going to do is what I'm shooting on right now, the iPhone SE, I got to wait for them to get the, uh, the box. I mean, I, wait for, I got to wait for them to send me the box so I can send this phone to them and they offering $350. I got a little crack in the screen, but long as the, you know, the buttons work and the back not cracked up and things like that, they, they you know what I mean? Everything is good. So I said, that's what's up. So all I had to do was give her like $65 and boom, she filled out everything to me. I said, they don't got too many colors. Let me get it in gold. But the blue in this looked real good. The blue looked real good. You feel what I'm saying? And, um, you know, just, you know, long story short, I signed up with them. I got to see how much my plan going to be. I think it should be like around $80, $90. Y'all know me. I, I hate paying all, you know, all that money, but that's including with the, the payments I got to pay every month with that. So, you know, it is what it is. My little money on the side, you know, as I do little things and, and stuff like that. Even for us, the YouTube payment, I could pay it with that and stuff like that. So, um... I was willing to, like I said, to pay that $345, but that saved me money. But then again, you know, I, I got to pay for this month now. So since it's in the middle of the month, so I'm going to have to drop that $100 or whatever, you know, once I activate everything. And so I'm going to have to drop that money down. But, um, yeah, man, so I'm with AT&T now, and I'm not going to try to be with them too long anyway. I'm going to pay this phone off, and I'm even going to go to Metro PCS or, or Boost Mobile because I love the prepaid. I love... You know, sometimes if I don't have the money, 
They're not going to charge me and put all late fees and stuff like that. I don't like none of that stuff. And like I said, service is service to me. I'm not, I really, at the end of the day, all the services sometimes seem the same to me. You know what I mean? Metro, booze, cricket, or whatever. It's all the same. So I'm not really worried about that. But sorry for talking to you, Mom. I just want to let y'all know how I got to getting this phone. Because some people probably, oh, goodness. God damn it. Oh, just, oh, my God. This is a big phone, dog. I ain't have a big phone in a long time. Remember, I told y'all I'm shooting with the iPhone SE right now. That's what I got. I actually bought a case for this phone, too. It's fine below. I know I might look, look like a girl case, but whatever. I'll give me something later. Oh, my goodness. Let me see. This is, man, the cameras poke out, like, that's crazy. I didn't even know they poke out that, uh, y'all see how that look? Let me see. That pokes out, pokes out. Yo, this is a well put together phone, and now I'm so happy with this. See what, remember I was telling y'all about these button placements, power button right here, volume buttons. That's exactly, iPhone gets it right. Let me give a hand clap now. They get it right, because I hate when all the buttons are just on one side. Oh, Lord. It's, the round edges. Oh, my goodness. And y'all know what this is, right? This is the same. Um, it's, most likely, it's the, this design. Remember, everybody kept saying this was the iPhone SE and the 5S was the best design that they ever had. And they brought it back. They brought it back. Thank the Lord. I'm ready to have a um, mid-stroke or something. Let me see. Let me see how this one uh, you don't want to crunch the phone up and on Any buttons work? This would do. This phone look nice. Let's see what we got in the Barney bag. The USB Type C, the fast charge. It's gonna be, but yeah, of course you don't get no charging brick and things like that. They just keep it real simple and plain, don't they? Take you some directions. Look at that. And um, the cord. I still got the. Uh, you know, charging brick. Yo, this phone. Oh, my goodness. All right, man. So, it's the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Man, I'm about to shoot some movies or something with this. I'm going to do some video testing and all this. So, stay tuned. You know, I'm going to test out all this. Let me, um, before I get out of here, let me just read the um, information for y'all. Y'all should know anyway, like, you know, if, um, you looking up phones and messing around with damn this phone look nice. I'm gonna take this I'm gonna take this damn case back off. Don't try to hate when a phone looks so good and it's so nice and the, like you know when you hold it in your hand, you just don't want to put a case on it, but you're so scared that you might, you know, wake up drooling one day or something and it might just drop the phone. Six point seven inches in a display, twelve twelve eighty four by twenty seven seventy eight pixels, four hundred and fifty seven PPI, hundred and twenty hertz refresh rate. What we got? 4,352 milliamp battery. So I was doing a lot of, um, I was looking at a lot of uh, videos as far as the battery life, man. And the Pro Max was like the best right now as far as, um, you know, battery life. Cause that's what I need. Like I told everybody before, when I had the iPhone 11, that was good, good battery life. Definitely. Got the A15 Bionic chip, six gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage. Who you telling? Main <laughs> main camera, 12 megapixels. And then it say the portrait lighting. All right, 63 megapixels with that. The wide the wide camera, the wide um, lens is 12 megapixel. The telephoto, 12 megapixel. The macro is 12. 4K, 60 frames. And you got the cinematic mode with smart focus. Front cameras to 12 megapixels. Shoot 4K in the front. I'm about to have me a blast with this. Put it in, throw it in the water. All this, you know what I mean? You got NFC. You name it. Wireless charging, fast charging, 20 watts. Wireless charging up to 15 watts. Hey, man, that is what it is. I appreciate y'all watching. I'm about to take this damn case off. I'm scared to even take it off. Let me see, because I don't want to scratch this phone up. It looks so good. Be careful, be careful. Oh my goodness. I don't want no case. Man, look at this, man. I'm telling y'all, like, 
talking about a top-notch phone. And by the way, too, like, I'm not worried about the iPhone 28 coming out and stuff like that, man. Look, something like this is going to hold me over. And don't forget, you know, a lot of these iPhones be getting the updates for, like, four or five years. You know, I'm still getting updates for the, um, the iPhone SE I just showed y'all in 2016. I'm still getting updates with this, man. So I ain't worried about all this other stuff. All these iPhones will do the same thing. Like I always say before, until your phone can get up and make you breakfast or something like that, or you say, hey, Siri, I need you to stop my car, that's when you'll have the best phone in the world. Other than that, you don't have to upgrade all the time. You know what I mean? Like with the plans and stuff like that, it's probably it's easier because you don't got to pay a lot of money and you can just trade this phone back in and they do a lot of trading and it save you money. So something like that is cool. I might have a change of heart if I stay with AT&T. If not, I'm leaving them. I'm going to Metro. I'm going back with Boost Mobile. It's your boy to the loot, big lord. Appreciate y'all watching. Oh, my goodness. Look at it one more time. Look at the goldness on it. The voice killing me. The fingerprints. They got it so right, man. That like cannot cry about that. When you got the button is right, I'm left-handed. Hello, Moto. I'm <laughs> It's your boy. Oh, great. Great balls of fire.